One of the worst things that's happened to the US dollar just happened yesterday. Uh, this is the worst thing that's happened in, within 50 years. Um, and it is one of the biggest catalysts, in my opinion, for Bitcoin to go up. Um, I'm going to cover that. I, it's amazing that a lot of mainstream news outlets are not covering this right now. I'm sure they will because it's such a big story. But first, let me cover CPI, so inflation. Uh, this is really interesting that inflation doesn't include food or fuel. So you have the CPI, which is the Consumer Price Index. I call it the CP lie because it's constantly changed since the 1980s. Um, they're always revising the numbers. So right now, inflation is 3.3%. Anybody with two brain cells to put together knows that inflation is not at 3.3%. Inflation is much, much, much higher because things get more and more expensive as years go on. Um, and Willy Woo also agrees with me. They keep changing the method to gaslight you. Inflation is really 10%, he says. I disagree. I think it's actually more. Um, it's very hard to tell what inflation is because there's so many things to you know put into the average but I would expect it to be a little bit more than even 10% at this point, uh, especially compared to Bitcoin. You know what I mean? Like, geez, how much is Bitcoin up since 2009? It's a ridiculous amount. Um, all right, so moving on, we have, um, it's going to lead you into this crazy story that just happened last night. Uh, Russia's Moscow exchange, stock exchange, um, officially suspends all trading in US dollars and euros. So what's happening here is that the entire world is kind of moving away from the US dollar. Um, that's been happening for a while now, especially, you know, I've covered the BRICS moving away from the US dollar. But now we have um, something very big happening. We not only have Russia doing this, because I think they're coming out with a digital ruble. Um, and also we have this crazy story. I couldn't believe it when I read it first, but here we go. Saudi Arabia ditches US dollar and will not renew the 50 year old petrodollar agreement with the United States. Saudi Arabia will now sell oil in multiple currencies, including the Chinese RMB, euros, yen, yuan, instead of exclusively uh, in US dollars. So what happened in 1974 is when uh, Saudi Arabia and the United States began came into an agreement. The U.S. says to, to Saudi Arabia, in order for us to protect you and to give you economic incentives, um, we will uh, require you to buy and sell oil in U.S. dollars. So this is why we call it the petrodollar. It's, it's petroleum, petroleum oil. Um, this is, it goes back a little ways. And this happened right after 1971 when Nixon took the U.S. dollar off the gold standard, which essentially destroyed the prior currency that was based on a, a fraction of gold and to a complete fiat system backed by nothing but military might and faith, which Bitcoin, you know that, never trust, verify. Um, so what is happening right now? Okay, a lot of people, I, I've been searching comments and stuff, and I think a lot of people are jumping to conclusions here. This isn't the end of the US dollar. This is the beginning of the end of the current U.S. dollar. Now that you know the House um, uh, created a bill that would ban CBDCs, the Federal Reserve, from creating CBDCs. Well, as you, if you've been following my, this channel for a while now, you know the truth about the Federal Reserve. It's not federal. It's not a reserve. Uh, they don't answer to anybody, okay? They don't answer to the House. They don't answer to the president. They don't answer to anybody, all right, except their shareholders. And so what is their main goal right now? Their main goal is to get a CBDC out there. So regardless of what passes in the House, it's all irrelevant. They're 100% going to have a CBDC, uh, regardless of, you know, whether or not you want there to be a CBDC, but there is going to be. And also these nations that, like Russia, uh, the euro, digital euro, you're going to have the digital ruble, you're going to have the digital yuan and digital yen, all these different currencies that, that people are going to be wanting to trade uh, back and forth with. So they're all coming out with their own CBDCs. Some will be much more 
Orwellian than others, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, this isn't the end of the U.S. dollar. This is just the beginning of the end, in my opinion, for this current U.S. dollar, because think about it. They don't care about the amount of debt that is being created. Why is that? You have to, do you ever ask yourself, why don't people care about, well, why doesn't the U.S. government care about the debt? It's because they have another plan. They have a contingency plan uh, to create a CBDC, and that is what is going to be used to, uh, so all this debt, when the debt explodes, they're going to go, okay, we have a CBDC all ready for you. Here you go. And it, I remember like being on Mario Norf- Noffel, uh, his podcast like six months ago, whatever. And I was explaining this very thing. And I said, guys, you just like, I, I think this is very dangerous. You need to realize that the whole point of BlackRock onboarding everybody onto Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, right? This is a uh, fake Bitcoin. It's a derivative of Bitcoin is so that most people will have their coins on centralized exchanges, whatever. They're not, they're going to be discouraged to have self custody and you can't self custody an ETF. Why would they want to do that? So that people will be trapped in the next fiat system that's going to be coming out CBDCs instead of holding self custody in their, in their hands and be able to walk through borders or whatever because the ne- new CBDC is going to be a, attached to your, to your bio identity and your social credit score. You think I'm crazy right now? This is, is exactly what they are working on right now. And you know what? Bookmark this video and watch it again in two years, three years or whatever. You're going to thank me later for, for bringing out this video. Anyways, let me know your thoughts below. Uh, if you do want to see me, like my thoughts on this more, uh, I've been commenting a lot on other people's posts at Sir Crypto Tips on Twitter. Um, also, if you want to see our new trade alerts that we've been doing or, and market updates, we've been buying a lot. Uh, check us out at learningcrypto.com. Anyways, like and subscribe. Talk to you guys soon.